I am Dr. Cindy Dupuy. I'm Kim Sharman. And we're doing Digit Span in under three minutes. So, Digit Span is what, Kim? Digit Span is the ability to uh, use your working memory to hold data um, and keep it in the correct order as you're processing and doing other tasks. Okay, so it's made up of three parts. The first one is digits forward. So I would say seven, three, four, six. And you would say? Uh, seven, three, four, six. Four, six. Six. Okay. <laughs> More so that's three. digits forward. I threw that one at you. Digits backwards, I say nine, four, three, six. And you would say? Six, three, four, nine. Isn't it nice when I have the numbers there for you? But no, I close. No, the only way I could do it, Cindy, was to close my eyes. So I wasn't. Okay. And then the last one is you're going to sequence them. So if I said six four one eight, you would say one four six eight. Smallest. And my eyes are closed. I'm not cheating. Okay. So what does digit span have to do with life, Kim? Everything. Working at Starbucks behind the counter when you just got three different orders. Uh, if you're a waitress, if you're a nurse. And the doctor gives you a series of four instructions to do for this patient. Unless you're writing it down on a piece of paper, you have to hold it in your head and figure out a way to keep it there in your working memory. So you do the right procedures. Uh, in the classroom, this is the teacher saying, and your homework is problem seven through eight. And, blah, 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 and you're like, problem. And then you've lost everything else in writing it down. Right. Um, Short-term memory is repeat exactly what you heard. Working memory is reverse the digits or sort and sequence the digits because you're manipulating the data in some way, okay? Um, there are kids out there that can crush this. I've watched them do it, it's amazing. They just use all sorts of strategies. They'll use rehearsal, they'll use revisualization, um, and there are just people out there that have memory capacity that can do it. Why would kids have a difficult time with this? Well. Uh, one ADHD can distract you from forgetting those things. Anxiety can distract you from doing things in the correct order. My compens compensatory, compens compensatory, compensatory skill was I can write every word that comes out of every single person's mouth. That's how I compensated for my anxiety of dealing with this. And I, you know, jury duty, a hundred pages of notes. I know what everybody said. Right. Um, so you can work on this and improve it. There are games out there that do this, uh, rules on the iPad. Um, there's memory games that you can buy. Um, and don't think that because it's hard for you now, it always has to be hard for you. You can work on these skills, but you have to practice what's not fun and what's difficult. But this is a life skill. It's huge. Questions, comments, likes. We appreciate all of that. Thanks.